uh, five minute call. I call Maya Lubeck. Tenakwe, uh, Mr. Speaker, and thank you for the opportunity to speak on the Education Amendment Bill 2018. This bill amends the Education Act 1989, and unlike the member of the Green Party who spoke previously, I remember that year vividly as it was the year I came to New Zealand and was lucky enough to make a new home. Uh, but back to the bill, um, these changes regarding national standards and charter schools have been well traversed. And the members on this side of the House have eloquently pointed out that this government's focus is actually on students' progress across the curriculum, rather than that very narrow focus on literacy and numeracy. That doesn't give us an accurate understanding of how our kids are doing. And in fact, as a mother of a young boy at college, I've never needed national standards to be briefed on how my boy was doing. I completely agree with the Minister's statements with regards to less testing, more teaching, which is in the best interest, interest of our kids and our teachers. So I'd just like to mention one point that is also in this bill, which is really important that it hasn't been mentioned a lot as yet. It is restoring guaranteed places for staff and students on the councils of their tertiary education providers. By doing so, it restores trust and democracy. It is very much like the changes we're making to the other bill, the Education Teaching Council of ALTRO Amendment Bill. It gives teachers the right to choose their own representatives from amongst their peers, and this bill does exactly the same. It guarantees one elected member of permanent staff and one elected student on the council. So once again, this government is righting the wrongs of the previous government because the previous changes were made when all universities were completely against those changes. This is a government that actually respects people's democratic rights, sets our children up for success in school and in life, and it's not afraid to make changes to reflect that. I support this bill and commend it to the House.